All right, everyone, welcome to the Tonto's Demise Week 16 Recap. Two matchups this week, semifinals. Who's going to the Tonto Bowl? Um, I guess I jinxed it last week when I said we haven't had a number one versus number two seed since 2011. Uh, it took another 11 years, but we got it. Um, what do we got? Biscuits and porn, the number two seed. Ginzer Jags, <coughs> the number one seed, will be colliding in Tonto Bowl X. X. Where's Des Bryant when you need him? Anyway, um, let's see what happened. Yeah, let's start with uh, the number one seed, <coughs> excuse me, Yinzer Jags. He was up against Ed Lager. Uh, really <laughs> no reason to be winning this one. I think it's safe to say for Yinzer Jags. Ed, you just, you completely, your team shit the bed. Um, every, the, only, the only players that showed up for you this week, Ed, are the guys I gave you. <laughs> Uh, Mahomes and T. Higgins. <laughs> Detling had like two guys show up, and then it was the Zach Moss. Will Zach Moss put in a Randy Moss? Or what? the Chargers defense? Uh, <laughs> fucking Detling. <laughs> the Chargers defense goes for like 45 points um, and blows Ed away. Um... For Yinzer Jags, the final score, the final score is one sixty four point four to one twenty eight point six. For J uh, Yinzer Jags, <coughs> excuse me, we've got Josh Allen thirty eight, Godwin fourteen and a half, Watson uh, eleven, Goodwin a zero, Saquon goes for twenty seven and a half, Mostert only five, Waller ten. Walker, 15 and a half. Nick Folk, minus two. And then the Chargers defense. I believe it was 46. Um, feasting on Nick Foles on Monday night. Despite Ed Logger having about a two-point lead going into Monday night, said it was Moss versus the Chargers defense, and Ed Logger's lead quickly evaporated into nothing. Mahomes goes for 42, Diggs only 4.5, T goes for 27, Adam Thielen only 1.5, Dalvin 10.5, Swift 3.5, and Joku 3.5, Moss 8, Carlson, your kicker, goes for about 5, or uh, yeah, it was 5 because his, his field goal was only 40, and then your Ravens defense actually got you, I believe, 23. So, um, said Mahomes and T helped you out. Everything else kind of let you down there, Ed. I believe you had Higby on the bench. He went for 30 points. Uh, <laughs> 27 more points than Njoku. Would not have made a difference. Got, that would have gotten you to 156. Um... Trying to think if there's any really thing you could have done differently. For Ed, um, if you had played Higby, so that would have been exactly 27 extra points. That would have gotten you to 155. 27? Yeah, 155. If you had played Chark in the flex there, like I think you had him there. Earlier in the week, that would be an extra 6.8. So you would still have lost, just barely, if you had played uh, Higby and Shark. Uh, really nothing else different, uh, other than your, your big guns just did not show up. Uh, Diggs did nothing for you, especially when you got... Um, his quarterback throwing to your receiver, where you get more points for the receivers there. Uh, 
That's going to be a huge disappointment going into the offseason here for you. Ed um, said, uh, Detling had a guy go for zero. His kicker went for minus two. And he still won the matchup. I think that's not the first time it's happened this year. Um, but anyway, Yinzer Jags, unfortunately, once again, going to the Tonto Bowl with the victory. This time he will go up against the man who stole his dreams. Biscuits and Porn knocking out Dub C. Hooligans. 225.75 to Dub C's 145.65. So Biscuits peaking too soon, perhaps. One week too early. We shall see. Tom Brady goes for 44. Your, his receivers all went off here. Smith went for 31 and a half. C.D. Lamb went for 34. Hodge, Hodgins, who I don't even I don't even know who that is. He goes for 23. Uh, Eckler goes for 24. But then uh, we got Robinson going for six. Andrews seven. Singletary in the flex actually goes for 23 and a half. Butker goes for about seven and a half. And then your Bengals defense. Yahoo says 13. I believe. Both of these guys, we bumped you up a little bit. Uh, I think it was also a 12-point bump for your defense, looks like, to 25. Uh, yeah, so that's what, 30, 65, 87, about 88 points just from Biscuit's three receivers. Two of his running backs go for 24. Uh, Tom Brady puts up a decent score. And Dub C. Not nearly enough to get it done this week. Uh, Gino goes for only 38 and a half. Justin Jefferson, he did what he was supposed to do. He goes for also 31 and a half. Um, actually, Smith, Devontae Smith and Justin Jefferson both scored 31.3. A uh, couple more catches for Jefferson, a little more. Um, must have been an extra touchdown there for Smith. Gage goes for 11.5, Lazard 11, CMC 14, Stevenson only 3.5, Everett, your tight end, actually got 0, Pacheco goes for 10, Koo goes for about 10, and your Tennessee defense playing against Houston, uh, a strategy that backfired pretty significantly here for you. I don't think it would have made a difference. What you would have done because you lost by... 80 points. <laughs> um, yeah, not too much you could have done here. Dub C, you just ran into um, a better team on this given day. Uh, Tennessee's score must have been, Yahoo says 10. Um, probably 16, maybe it looks like. Uh, but yeah, Dub C, this close to finally getting back to the Tonto Bowl. But you could not do it. The biscuits and porn back to Tonto Bowl. I mean, you I believe Biscuits won Tonto Bowl 10. And now he's in he hasn't been back since Ta now he's in Tonto Bowl 20. So he's only gonna go every 10 years. <laughs> <coughs> Although he did not wait 10 years to go to the first one. He's waited 10 years to go to the second one. So we can expect him to be back. Uh, to be pretty quiet until Tonto Bowl 30, if tradition holds true. Anyway, so we're going to have Biscuits and Porn versus Yinzer Jags, Tonto Bowl 20. Let's take a quick peek at what we got coming up. <laughs> Yahoo's projections. Currently, Biscuits and Porn, 165.75. Yinzer Jags. 165.19. <clears throat> All right. What do we got? Josh Allen versus Cincinnati on Monday night. That should be pretty good. Um, you got, uh, Detling's got one of Tom Brady's receivers. Got Watson, got Amari Cooper. Saquon should crush the Colts. Montgomery. And the, uh, your other running back at Detroit, that could be good. Waller versus San Francisco, eh. Walker versus the Jets, eh, I don't know. You got 
Char Chargers defense again versus the Rams. Should be pretty good. I don't know the Rams kind of, didn't they just crush somebody the other day? Um, I don't even remember who it was. Uh, looking at Detling's bench. Probably all the best options in. Like he's given up on Gabe Davis. Um, yeah, I know Godwin, I'm sure. I mean, I mean I'm sorry, not Godwin, Watson. Got a Q next to his name. Not sure about his health. He's been injured on and off all season. What do we got for Biscuits? So Tom Brady versus Carolina. Plus the Detling's got one of your receivers. Uh, Eckler versus the Rams. That should be good. You got Hodgins still in there. Since Olav is um, out with an injury. I'll have to wait and see if he plays or not. You got Scorderell Patterson on the bench. Miami defense against New England. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about that, but his other two defenses are playing Buffalo and Kansas City, so I guess you got to go with Miami there. Uh, hope, hope Josh Allen throws a lot of passes to Singletary there for you. It's for Jim. Um, Hodgins versus the Colts. Andrews versus Pittsburgh could been, could be pretty good. Uh, he's, I think Andrews have been, has been suffering a little bit from the lack of Lamar Jackson. C.D. Lamb on Thursday night. Uh, they're at Tennessee. who has been slumping. Hate to have anybody on a Thursday night game, though. So, what do we think? Hmm. Oh man, this is going to be, I, I, ugh. I hate to say this, but I think Detling is going to pull this out. This is a kind of, this is a Josh Allen 80 point game, like waiting to happen. Uh, and that could be the, that could be the single biggest factor here. Um, since Saquon should, both of, both of you guys, Giants, should have pretty good games. But Eckler should should do pretty well. <clears throat> Since all your all your wide receivers just went off, I hate uh, that you guys had such big games last week. It, it doesn't usually happen multiple weeks in a row. Uh, um, I don't really care for the rest of Detling's lineup and his matchups this week. Except for Allen and Saquon. But, said this is one of those matchups where Josh Allen could just go bonkers. And if that is what happens, then I believe Yinzer Jags will be the one. Sorry, Jim. It Trust me, it pains me to say this. Um, but my prediction is going to be that Yinzer Jags wins the Tonto Bowl again. All right, Tonto Bowl 20. Um, was that it? Good luck to you guys. Only two teams left. Um, we'll figure out who gets paid. Uh, don't forget Ed and Kevin playing for third place. Don't forget to set your lineups here because somebody will st third place still gets uh, your money back. So don't forget about that. And yeah, let's have a great Tonto Bowl. Nobody gets hurt. Everybody meets or exceed, ex exceed, exceeds expectations. Everybody has fun. And yeah, it's going to take all the way down to Monday night. So it should be fun and stressful for those guys to watch. <laughs> all right, guys. I really don't ex imagine that anybody really is probably watching this anymore. Uh, maybe like <laughs> one person, maybe... That's it, so, uh, yeah, we will see you here next week to recap Tonto Bowl 20, perhaps talk about the season a little bit. Um, I really don't, I, I guess I'll have to think, if I have time to really think about it, because as you know, I didn't really pay much attention this year, as I should, as, as normal, so um, whatever happens, happens. My analysis of the full season 
Um, my awareness, I guess, is not what it usually is, so lack of awareness leading to a poor analysis, I guess. Uh, maybe we'll, we'll see. Well, we'll see what happens if I'm bored um, next week. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching, listening, or whatever it is you do. Kevin, your dog just took a shit right down there. Probably want to clean that up. And yeah, bye guys. Good luck and see you next year. <laughs> Happy New Year, everyone, also as well. So bye-bye. Thanks.